Now, if that is not the cutest thing you've seen today, then I really and truly don't know what you find cute. But I found that extremely cute. And that was a video from the Real Time Film Festival happening from the 24th to the 30th of this month. Now, over the past few days, we have had a couple people as contestants coming in. And today, we have the producer of the Real Time Film Festival, Ronia, coming in to tell us all about RTF and what we should expect, of course, in partnership with us here at Wazobia Mag. She's also an acting coach and a director and literally everything to do with film. How are you doing today? Great, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. So it must have been, or oh, must still be really hectic, planning towards the Real Time Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, How's it, it all is. going? Great. Um, we have a few big events. Uh, well, the opening ceremony is this Sunday at the Kedja City Mall, Silverbird Cinema. So um, we're working towards that. Um, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have uh, at the red carpet, we're going to have three hosts, that Titi, Mamuzo, and Delphin. And then we're going to have... Um, some screenings of films from Hungary, uh, uh, India, Nigeria, Amazing. of course, um, all over the USA, SA, all over the world. So it's That's really amazing. exciting. Then um, um, there's going to be an after party. Oh, Can't wow. have a film festival without an after party. <laughs> True. Yeah, actually, we're, we're, we're having parties every night. So oh, there's wow. going to be different DJs every night, uh, DJ Marcus, DJ T. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Um, one of the nights we're going to have a live band and some karaoke playing. So Amazing. a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, it does sound like it's going to be such a vibe. Now, what, it's, what inspired you to produce the Real Time Film Festival? Wow. So the heart. OK, so Real Time Film Festival is, I think, the, the, the only festival that is done by filmmakers for filmmakers. Well, for those who don't know, the, the, the founder of the whole idea is Daniel Iquare, the award-winning yeah. uh, filmmaker. And um, he's an amazing guy with a huge heart. And he just managed to, to get a huge team of filmmakers to, to make this thing come true. Now, Stanley and I met at this, um, at, on the production of his film, Idahosa Trails, that was yeah. out in Afrif, last, last Afrif. And... Uh, I don't know, something about, like, it was really weird how we met. It was very unexpected. But somehow from the first moment we started working together, it was like a silent understanding. We didn't have to talk much yeah. to understand each other. You know how that just That's clicks. always the best, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't even want to go to that. Yeah. It was like, would you come for, they need an evil actress and this and that, like <laughs> 7, 8 p.m. in Ikeja. I'm like, what? No, I'm not going <laughs> over the island. So you've acted in Nollywood movies yourself before? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that been like? How do you find the experience? Oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's uh, a lot of makeup. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun. The last one I shot was, uh, well, actually, I shot a cameo yesterday, but the last big one I was in a number of state, and that was a lot oh, of fun. Wow. I'm quite the adventurous wow. type. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've been asking everyone this question and with regards to RTF as they've been coming in this week, and I think I should ask you as well. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that the Nollywood industry is all about qu um, quantity and not necessarily about quality. And a lot of Nigerians feel aggrieved and distressed that we have all this talent and we don't put the right quality behind it. We just focus on producing so many movies and throwing them out there. How do you feel towards the Nollywood industry? Okay. Um, I do love it. There's a good vibe in it and all the people are really um, passionate. There's a lot of passion in it. Um, they don't just come to work, you know, they really do it because they love doing yeah. it. Um, I do, however, um, I start from scratch. I start from the script. Yeah. And I think that's where people sometimes... So I even directed a film for, for Nollywood. And, and I always work from the script. Because, and I feel like sometimes there's some, like, holes, you know? Like, okay, this, this wasn't thought through all the way. And it also affects the actors. Because the actors are so used to, oh, just come and set it's an ad lib. Oh, we'll just do it this way. Oh, you, you don't have to, there's no real script. Just work it out or just uh, do it in pigeon now. And it's not written out. And the actors don't take the time because they're not given the time or, or even the, the production team doesn't have that state of mind of there's a background story for yeah. everything. If you don't give it a background story. Um, it's flat, yeah. you know? Which it won't is be what executed I think, in the right way. As yeah, and yeah. I think that's what a lot of people here are feeling, but they don't really know how to put it into yeah. words. 
But you know what? I think when it comes to film festivals and actually showcasing the work of people, it's also an opportunity for us to look at the loopholes and look at where we actually need to do better, the bridges that we need to gap, etc. So I am really looking forward to the Real Time Film Festival. Now, I wanted to ask you what everyone or why everyone should attend the Real Time Film Festival this year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> First of all, we have top of the notch, you know, filmmakers and films coming in and from all over the world. So it's really inspiring. I mean, as an artist, as a producer and director myself, I always look at other people's works just because I love to. And then yeah. I always feel inspired. Oh, it gives me another idea or it gives me another perspective to do something else. Um, so and I think that's like that all over the world. I mean, that's why we have film festivals. Yeah. It's not just to acknowledge, but it's also to inspire. Um, then we have a lot of advantage sessions with uh, directors, screenwriters, actors, uh, um, cinematographers, even sportcasters. We have a sportcaster coming in for um, to give a workshop. Amazing. Yeah, um, we're really trying to celebrate all types of screen media and art. Mm. So we even have an arts exhibition. We have a fashion show at the Abatec uh, on the 29th. Amazing. We have a filmmaking challenge for filmmakers who are challenging themselves to make a film within 20 hours. I'm even one of them. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, Stanley was like, yeah, we have to go, Ronia, we're a role model. We have to, you know, to, to, Be to there push and people actually, yeah. Yeah, and show people how you, you, you go about your passion. So, yeah, yeah and I think that's what really, um, that, that passion for telling stories is what really unites the whole team of Absolutely. Real Time Film Festival. Absolutely. Um, and the so theme that you have for this year is stories that touch. Why did right. you decide on that theme and what does it also mean to you? Well, I was looking at the films that were submitted to the festival. Um, we had over 1,200 films. That's 1,200 stories. And they were so, you know, some of them were really unique. The ones we chose, some of them I found enchanting almost. Mm -hmm. And they, they talk about relationships and love and life and destiny and friendship and, and health issues and a lot of things that are all around us all the time in our lives, right? But they sound like big words, but they're not words. Mm -hmm. They're real stories because they all come from a personal story from a Based personal on yeah, yeah, yeah. point of view and and we wanted to you know we wanted those films to resonate with whoever watches them so it's really amazing how films from all over the world can resonate with people in Nigeria you know mm. you make a film in Hungary or in Syria um, by a director from the Czech Republic yeah you know and it resonates in Africa isn't that amazing? But the only way it resonates is because it's a personal story. It's because we can, as, as human beings, uh, um, identi identify with, you know, just anything that happens to another human being. Yeah, and also understanding the language of film as well. Now, moving on from that, we've had a lot of contestants coming in over the past few days. We had the EastEnders, the Da Vinci crew, and a couple others have come in. And yeah. I remember there was a question I asked, which is, why do you deserve to win the competition? But to my surprise, what I heard was, well, or, or sorry, I said, why do you think you're the best deserved to win the competition? But they were like, when it comes to film, there's no best. So how do you determine who wins the competition, the 20 hour filmmaking competition? What are the factors that come into that? So the best factor, well, the most important factor, not the best, the most important factor is that you get your film done within that time in the basic standard, so the sound has to be good and coherent. We don't want any buzzes. Yeah. The picture has to be good, and you really want to know what you're trying to bring across. If your story comes across well enough, then you told your story well. I mean, all these films that, that we're showing over 130 films yeah. in this week, they all have a story to tell. You can't tell who's the best mm. film, you know? They just have to touch. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. So for people out there who really want to attend the Real Time Film Festival, how can they get more information and also more information about you as well? So there is, um, we have uh, the Instagram page that's at uh, Real Time Film Festival. Um, we have our, okay, the best way mm. is to go online on our website. That's www.realtimefilmfestival.com. Um, then there's my own Insta page, mm. Stanley's. 
uh, that's Ronnie Man Arts, Stanley Ricoire, and um, yeah, basically. Amazing. <laughs> now, there's no way I can let you go without discussing the creative arts in Nigeria as a whole and the progress and journey that we've been taken on. Once upon a time, creative arts in the country were shoved to the side, and then we saw the booming Nollywood industry, the booming music industry, etc. And today we're now here where we have our own film festivals. We're recognized as the third biggest film producing country in the world, and we have a lot of accolades coming our way, yet there are still challenges. What are some of those challenges that you see right before your eyes as a director, a producer, and an acting coach that make you sort of aggrieved and make you feel like, you know what, if these hurdles were out of the way, the Nigerian uh, movie industry could literally be right at the top. I'm smiling because someone just asked me that question Are you serious? <laughs> last night because she's going on a summit in Abuja for um, the creative arts industry. And, um, and I told her, I told her, Anne, you know, Every corrected country, every advanced country in the world has a budget for the arts because they understand that the arts are like the ambassador. Yeah. Whether it's for tourism, whether it's for political reasons, whether it's whatever it does, the arts industry of a, of a country brings... It brings it, people together as well. And not only, but it, it also yeah. enhances the economy of the country. It does. It does. Basic as that. Yeah. It enhances the economy of that country. Yeah. You know, Lego State wants to bring in tourism. Tourism. Mm. This arts fest, this uh, real-time mm. film festival is bringing in, I think, 20 filmmakers from around the world just for the film festival. That's tourism. But nobody up there is, is saying, we, we tried to reach those people and yeah. tell them, this is what we're doing. We kind of need your help, you know? It, it, it costs a lot of money to make a film festival. Yeah. Nobody out there understands that what we're doing here is pushing forward the economy of, of this country, Yeah. you know? And Absolutely. it's a drive. So I wish that the connection was made and, and therefore an understanding that there needs to be a foundation for the arts yeah. in Nigeria. I completely agree with you and I think that's honestly a call to the government to do more for the art sector in Nigeria. There's so many creatives in the country and sometimes it's a shame that you see people that have so much in them that they can give to the country but they don't have the platform, you know? Even me speaking about it right now is also even making me upset. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully with a real-time film festival and more events like that, a lot is going to change. So thank you, honestly, for everything that you're doing for the arts here, for yourself, for the community, for everyone. Honestly, it's brilliant. Thanks a lot, Ronia. It's a lot of fun and thank you for asking me that question. That you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. And don't forget, you can find out more about the Real-Time Film Festival at www.realtimefilmfestival.com come right yeah there we go thank you ronia it's been an absolute pleasure to enjoy more of this our will get videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our youtube page you go love her